Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to prove the Apollonius uh, theorem for this uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, where this uh, line segment AM is the median for this uh, side length uh, BC. It bisects uh, this BC into two equal parts, uh, BM and MC. And just keep in your mind that this uh, median AM is uh, not perpendicular to this uh, line BC. And now we are going to prove uh, this uh, formula. AB square plus uh, AC square equals to 2 times AM square plus uh, 2 times uh, BM square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So once we are done with this uh, proof, I'll share with you the applications uh, and examples uh, to this uh, theorem. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, AD such that this angle uh, BDA is uh, 90 degrees. To make our life simple, let's go ahead and uh, label these uh, side lengths. Uh, this is our vertex C. The side opposite to this vertex C is this one. I'm going to call this uh, side lowercase uh, c. The side opposite to this uh, vertex B is going to be this uh, lowercase b. And the side that is opposite to this vertex A, I'm going to call uh, this uh, side uh, B M as A and this uh, M C as A as well since these two are equal in length. And furthermore, let me go ahead and label this uh, side uh, D M as X units. Then we can see that this uh, side length uh, B D is going to be this whole side uh, A minus uh, this side length uh, x so this is going to become simply a minus x and likewise this uh, side length uh, dc is going to be this side length uh, a plus uh, this side length uh, x so this is going to become uh, a plus uh, x and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, adb let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, perpendicular AD as our P and this uh, median AM I'm going to represent it by lowercase n. Now since uh, this ADB is our right uh, triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A, this is going to become A minus X whole square. B in our case is P. So this is going to become P square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, next uh, right triangle ADM. So we are going to use once again the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, side a, this side b and this longest leg our side c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So that is going to give us uh, x square plus p square equal to n square. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number two. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ADC. And we are going to use once again this Pythagorean theorem a square plus p square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side A, this side B and this longest leg our side C. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean theorem. A in our case is A plus X, B is P and C is B. So therefore we are going to have A plus X whole square plus P square equal to B square. Let's call this our equation uh, number uh, three. So thus we are ended up with these uh, system of uh, three equations. And now we are going to add these two equations, equation one and equation uh, three. Let's go ahead and add these uh, right hand sides first. So this could be written as 
b square plus c square equals to now these sides this one and this one a plus x whole square plus b square and then plus a minus x whole square plus b square and now let's recall these famous identities a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square we are going to apply on these binomials a plus x whole square and a minus x whole square as well so therefore let's go ahead and simplify b square plus c square equal to this first one we are going to use this first identity so this is going to become a square plus 2ax plus uh, x square and then uh, I'm going to write down uh, plus uh, p square and then uh, plus uh, I'm going to use this identity for this one so this is going to give us uh, a square minus uh, 2ax uh, plus uh, x square and plus uh, finally this uh, p square and now we can see this plus 2ax and minus 2ax they are gone and here we can combine these like terms a square plus a square x square with this uh, x square and this p square with this uh, p square so therefore we can write down b square plus c square equal to 2a square then i can write this uh, 2x square and then likewise 2 p square and now we can see between these two terms uh, 2 is in common as you can see in this uh, next step I have factored out uh, this uh, 2 and in parentheses we got x square plus uh, p square and now we can see in this equation uh, 2 x square plus p square equals to n square so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, x square plus p square by n square so therefore our this equation is going to become uh, b square plus c square equals to 2a square plus 2 times this whole thing is n square and now you can see our length b in our case is ac length c is ab and this length a is bm and this length n is am so therefore the left hand side of this equation is going to become simply a b whole square plus a c whole square equals to let me go ahead and take care of this one first so this will be written as 2 times a m whole square plus and finally for this 2 a square I can write 2 times b m whole square and this is our proof as you can see over here a b square plus a c square equal to 2 times a m square plus 2 times b m square and now we are going to apply this uh, example to this uh, Apollonius uh, theorem our uh, a b value is 11 units our a c value is uh, 17 and our this uh, b c value is uh, 12 and now we are going to calculate this median length am and once again let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale and now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, bc and this m is our midpoint so therefore our this side length uh, bm is going to be 6 and this other side length uh, mc is going to be 6 units as well let's go ahead and substitute these uh, values in this uh, apollonius uh, formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula a b in our case is 11 so this is going to become 11 square plus a c in our case is 17 whole square equal to 2 times uh, we don't know a m so i'm going to leave it a m square plus uh, 2 times uh, b m in our case is 6 whole square so let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 121 plus uh, 289 equals to 2 times a m whole square plus uh, 6 square is 36 36 times 2 is 72 and here on the left hand side if we add these numbers that's going to give us 410 
Now let's go ahead and subtract 72 from both sides. This is gone. So we simply ended up with a 2 times AM whole square equal to 338. Now let's divide 2 on both sides. This is gone. So our AM whole square equal to 169. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. And we can see this square and square root is gone. So our AM length turns out to be positive 13 units. So thus our length uh, AM turns out to be 13 units by using this uh, Apollonius uh, theorem. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.